YouTubers, Brian Burkhart here. I'm here today to explain how to properly overclock a GTX 580. I'm going to go over some good proper cooling procedures. I'm also going to go over how to overclock your 1090T processor, which I actually have some questions for from you guys because I've been having some problems doing that. But we'll get into that later. Let's get the show on the road. Okay, so here's my rig. I got a MSI 870A Fusion motherboard with a GTX 580. I got the 1090T 6-core AMD processor. I got the V6 Cooler Master, which I highly recommend. It has made the world of a difference. And uh, I can't stress this enough, guys. When you're overclocking your card, you have to be very careful because if you put those voltages too high, you know, overclocking it, overheating, your card will catch on fire, your card will explode, your computer will explode, shrapnel flying everywhere, your neighbors will call the cops, your parents will be mad, and Arnold will come in somewhere and say, Oh my God! Somebody put the fire out now! I can't stress this enough, guys. Be careful overclocking your GTX 580s. You got to take me seriously. Now, I can't just go and just poop out a new GTX 580 for you, so you got to be careful. It's a $500 card, and I am not responsible for damage cards. Was somebody sitting in my chair? Who the heck was that guy? Hey. Weirdo. Okay, so here I have MSI Afterburner. This is a program I'm, I'm going to be using to overclock my card today. I really recommend it. It's a good program. Um, so pretty much... I'm new to overclocking, well sort of new, um, I didn't understand that I actually had to up my core voltage to overclock my card properly. I tried looking on the internet to find some stuff, it was really hard, so that's exactly why I'm making this video to show you newbies how to properly overclock your card to get the max performance. So in MSI Afterburner, you actually have to unlock your core voltage meter because this will be grayed out. So what you do is you go to settings, in general, and you hit unlock voltage control. You hit OK and you have to restart the program and your core, core, core voltage will be enabled. So here on this card, 1000 to 1100, 1.1 is a safe range for this card. On the safe side, I keep it to about 175 and all cards are different, even the same model. My card is comfortable around 900. I've had it up to about 930 until it started getting unstable. I've actually seen these cards up to 1000. But my card is stable at 900. And now we have a jet coming over my house. Yes, very loud. I live on an Air Force base. This is where they made Call of Duty 5. Okay, so now I lost my train of thought. God dang it. Okay, so, and you can hit your memory clock up a little bit too. Now that I have this going, and my core voltage is good, I'm going to hit apply, and your temperature will go up very fast. If you're doing a benchmark or something, I highly recommend on your fan control speed, you unclick auto, and you bring it up to full power. This will enable the maximum cooling for your benchmark so you don't get any failures. Okay, what I have here is this fancy side panel cover for a computer. I installed one 20 millimeter fan on the side of my case and it made the world of difference for cooling. Before I got this fan, I was running 80 to 90 degrees Celsius on my card on benchmarks on full load. With this little puppy in here, I dropped it down to 60 to 70. So I can't stress it enough that cooling is very important to your computer. So it's winter and I take advantage of actually having my windows open because it's proven that colder temperatures are better for a computer and your, for your performance. This ice map isn't helping at all. Now this is where I have some questions for you people. Okay, I bought this processor. It was really great. I got a great overclocking motherboard. I'm new to overclocking processors. I've read a lot and looked up a lot of stuff, but just nothing has happened and nobody's been able to help me in the way I need. I've messed with the multipliers, the voltage, and the megahertz in all different ways to try to get this over 4.0. This only runs stable on my computer at 3.8. That's the highest I can get it. So if you guys have any comments or constructive criticism, if I'm doing anything wrong, please tell me. Well, that about sums it up for today. If you guys have any recommendations for a new video, this was actually my first video I've ever made. 
But um, I'm pretty knowledgeable about computers. If you guys have any recommendations, I'm pretty helpful. Um, I kind of have fun doing this, so some good comments or something would be helpful. You know, some tips or actually any ideas of a new video would be great. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.